Castle, tucked in the northwestern corner of Wales, is a magnificent example of medieval castle building. Work began here over 700 years ago. In 1283, the English King Edward I built this castle to stamp his authority on the rebellious Welsh. Edward adorned the castle with imperial grandeur, such as these carved stone eagles and stone heads mounted all along the battlements. To would-be attackers, these heads may have looked like helmeted soldiers and hopefully acted as a deterrent. On permanent lookout, they certainly symbolised the strength of the royal garrison within. The castle's curtain walls were unique in Britain at the time because they contained passages that ran between the towers. They allowed guards to keep a constant lookout and also offered valuable protection to archers. Running between the outer and inner walls, they are over six metres thick and were a unique innovation at the time. All the towers here at Carnarvon Castle perform specific functions. There was the well tower, retrieving fresh water from the bedrock, one tower that stored and processed grain, another that housed the treasury, and others such as the lookout towers that held more traditional defensive roles. But the greatest of all has to be the eagle tower, which contains the royal apartments where King Edward intended to stay with Queen Eleanor. Everything about it was designed on a grand regal scale. King Edward brought his heavily pregnant wife to stay in this tower. He wanted the next future king to be born in Wales. He was later given the title Prince of Wales, which has been conferred on each firstborn royal son ever since. Our own Prince Charles was invested here at Carnarvon in 1969. So what does Carnarvon mean to the Welsh today? It's moved from being a symbol of imperialistic oppression to being accepted as part of the Welsh psyche. It is a world heritage site and it's gone from being what would have been a palace to being part of Carnarvon itself, a thoroughly absorbed landmark in the fabric of Wales.